Okay, everybody. This is going to be the Kirkland golf ball versus. Um, we're going to do it versus the TaylorMade Tour Preferred X because in my testing that you will see in the Excel file that I will post with this, that uh, that ball tended to be the closest to the Kirkland. I could also use a Pro V1 X. That one was pretty close. But I figured I would do the Tour Preferred X versus the Kirkland. And what I was going to do is just kind of go through all the clubs. And uh, I'll leave it at one length. We won't, rather than just keep firing at greens. But um, so let's see Kirkland and Tour Preferred X. There we go. Um, so the first thing is this is a 60 degree wedge. We'll try to hit like a, um, oh, let's do about 40, 45 yards for carry. So we're just going to kind of look at, I think I'll just hit two shots each and I'm going to alternate on which ball goes first. So, oh, let me clear that first zero ball. There we go. All right. So that one went 45 yards for carry. I'll try and do one more. Actually, we'll try and bump it up to about, let's go, try and go about 75. And 70. Alright, let's do the same with Kirkland. 45 yards. And I got a little bit more, about like 48, 47. And then we'll try to do 75 yards. start over with the Kirkland. You gotta keep remembering to switch balls on the screen. Okay, now we're in the Kirkland. Alright, so 45 yard shot. Whoa, creamed it. 53. So really what we're looking for in these is I'm just kind of trying to look for spin rates, see if they're drastically different. Um, actually, you know what, I'll throw a Pro V1X in there too, because it's going to spin. And then 75, so 75 yards. I keep hitting that fin. Alright, not bad. And let's do the original Pro V1. So I bet you more people play that than the X. Alright. Now our Pro V. So again, 45 yards. That one's pretty good. Seventy-five yards. Okay. Now we're going to start doing full shots, and I'm just going to do two balls each 
on each full shot. So we'll start with the 60 degree. So 60 degree wedge, full swing with Pro V1X. Again, what we're looking for here is just kind of launch angle, spin numbers. Um, I can tell you just personally, the feel of all three balls is very similar as it comes off the face. Alright, so that was the Pro-V. We will go to the Kirkland now. Actually, we'll go to the TaylorMade. I'm going to try and alternate which one goes first, second, and third. One more at the wedge, 60 degree. So the nice thing there, well, not gonna get, it's not gonna be like this once I get into higher lofted or uh, longer clubs, but both of those we're basically like mirror images of each other. I can repeat the distance and the shot shape pretty much the same. All right, so now we're in the Kirkland. So those were doing like 11,000 and change per spin, so I would expect the Kirkland to do about the same on the wedge. thousand and change. Hit that one a teeny bit thin. That was me. That was not my best thing. But still wound up with a good spinning ball. We'll keep it. Alright, let's go to the 56 degree. We will start with the we'll start with the Kirkland. We're already there. thousand four hundred for spin. Again, very consistent. That's actually a little longer than uh, I normally would hit this wedge, this wedge is usually about 115 yards for me. We're going to go to the Pro V next.
realize we're like four minutes in or so, five minutes in, and I'm only on two gloves, so we'll have to pick it up a little bit. Forty minutes long. I think the loss of distance there was me. Didn't quite get that one quite flush. It was pretty close, but. skip the 52 let's go straight into a pitching wedge and we'll just kind of do pitching eight iron six iron stuff like that so a pitching wedge Leave the wrists wide open there. Move to a Kirkland. that a little left. It's going to be a long ball. I want 52. Alright. What do I have left to do? Titleist, right? Titleist. So something I would expect to see here is I think the Titleist, as we start getting into the longer clubs, is going to spin more than the other two. Not by a lot, just a little bit. God, I'm hitting them like shit now. Not the best day for my swing. One more time. Come on, get a good swing in there. A little bit better. So far. Pretty much if I hit either one of those balls and didn't tell you, you probably couldn't tell the difference. Alright, so let's stick with the Pro B. Let's go to an 8 iron. 
Actually, that's... Oh. Yeah, because I've hit the 7 iron before. We'll hit the 8. Especially since I did the Excel doc that you guys will be able to see is all with an 8 iron. It's just not good today. All right, we'll do the tailor made now. I have a feeling that the timing is just going to get worse as the clubs go up. But ball numbers are ball numbers. Even with my crap balls today, they'll be able to use them to measure against. Hitting all of those off the toe. There we go. That was a good ball. Really slowed it down to make sure I hit it. But I hit it. All right, Kirk one. Let's go to, how about, a 5-iron. And we'll go to 3-iron, and then we'll do 3-wood, we'll call it. Alright, 5-iron. Sorry guys, swing just not good today. Almost, almost. Okay. God. Suck. 
sucky, sucky, sucky. Super fat. Just crap. Total of crap. yards difference between those last two balls pretty much. That one was well struck. Alright, now to the fun fun clubs. Three iron, three wood. We're gonna do a three iron. Alright. That's why I say they're fun. 246 carry on that 3 iron. I will not be getting anywhere near that with the Pro-V. <laughs> as good as the first one. Alright, now we'll hit the Titleist. So again, I expect these to be at least 10 yards shorter because this ball will have more spin off of the 3 iron. Look at that. That was smashed for me. At least it felt like it. And it went 229. Ball speed was a little down, so let's see if I can pick it up. Good hit on this next one. A little off the toe, but it was still a good strike. Another curve one.
Not a good swing. I really held the wrist there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Try once more. Good swing. Take it. Take it. 240. All right. Now to the three wood. So this one I'll start with the tour preferred X because I think that's going to be the longest. Um, I will do one off the ground, one off the tee. Six carry and that nice little Dorada. All right. Try and get that same ball flight going for the tee. This actually is teed up a little high for my liking, but is what it's what I've got. Taylor made. We'll do the Kirkland next. I liked that ball. I liked that one. Yay. 284. The carry. And finally with the tie list. Let's go change it. at it. Alright, let's try and get a good ball here on the last shot. Little fades with that Pro V. 
That was a good ball, though. I'm going to hit one each, and I'm just going to go for an all-out smash. So it's as hard as I can hit it, as long as I can hit it. So we're going to try and hit that draw. So I'm going to try and maximize the distance. So first the probie. Hit it fat, or not fat, hit it off the toe. Alright, then we'll do the tailor made. Maximize the distance. That was smashed. That was smashed. Yeah, two eighty eight for the carry on that one. Finally, the Kirkland. Again, looking for the draw. Miss the draw. Dead straight ball. Got a lot of spin on that one. Okay. So there you have it. Um, I'll save that data real quick. And then I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Um, save that. clear all the shots here and what I wanted to do finally I'm gonna go I don't know how far the average person hits a seven iron but I'm gonna guess it's like around 160 yards and what I wanted to try and do is just swing real easy and try and put a seven iron about that distance with the three balls and so slower swingers you don't have the swing speed I have can kind of get how it would work for them. So we'll start, first I'll just start with the Pro-B. And I'm going to take a warm-up ball, partly because I don't exactly know. Like I can't just pull out 160 yards on the 7 iron. It's going to take me a little bit to try and figure out like, how much do I have to swing to do that. One forty-five. All right, I'll leave you a little bit more than that. good enough shot. There's one of the draw. Let's hit one of the fade. Close enough. Do 
do the same thing with the Kirkland. And sorry, this isn't exactly scientific. I'm not a robot. So, 160 yards, trying to go for a straight ball here first. job at aiming these but and a fade okay and finally we'll do the same thing with the other made. There we go. Sorry we had a dead battery. Just finishing up this little seven iron thing. Two of the X. Straight ball, trying to go 160. Nice hit job hitting it fat. Why is it? I'm going so slow on the fidget spin. All right, let's try that one again, just because I hit a crappy ball there. All right. Well, you get the draw. And now we'll hit one with the fade. So let's look at those real quick. There's kind of your numbers on that. Let's see what we got. Uh, it's like two preferred spun less. Um, it's about 500 RPMs down in all areas actually. Um, ball speed eh, within three miles an hour. Um, launch angle 16, 16, 17.2. So fairly consistent. Um, peak height's 23, 23, 23, so I did a decent job there. And uh, carry 148, 154, 151. So I did the best I could for a 160 yard 7 iron. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any comments, let me know. Thank you.